Hello, my name is Andrew Cooper and I'm a member of St James Church, New Barnet. I'd like to take a look at a Bible passage that I believe is very powerful and rich in meaning for us. Uh, the passage is Colossians uh, chapter 1 verses 15 to 18. Uh, in my Bible there's a, a subheading, The Supremacy of Christ. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. All things were created by him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. Teaching science to secondary school students has kept me usefully occupied for most of my life. I always love it when students ask thoughtful science questions like why is mercury the only liquid metal and if the moon is attracted to the earth by gravity is the moon getting closer and closer to the earth? When I check out the answers as I often have to I, I learn along with my students apparently the moon is actually moving away from the earth but only, but only by about three centimetres a year. Scientists sometimes talk as though they know all the answers. The current pandemic, of course, makes it clear that this is not so. There is still so much to learn. But science does try to make sense of the patterns and the phenomena that we see around us. Like a rainbow, the tides coming in and out on the beach, or how medicines can cure. In recent weeks, many of us have had more time to admire the beauty of nature, enjoy the arrival of spring and appreciate the longer days and the warming sunshine. In this passage from Colossians, we read that all things were created by him, that is, Jesus, and that in him all things hold together. This means that our creator God made everything around us through Jesus Christ, Jesus who was with God from the very beginning. I don't always find it easy to get my head around this, but that's what it says. It is amazing that Jesus not only created our world, our universe, but he's also the sustainer of life as, as we know it, which is what is meant by in him all things hold together. No wonder then we can live in awe of our all-powerful creator and sustainer. But where do we come in? The answer is surely in verse 18. Verse 18 says, and he, that's Jesus, is the head of the body, the church. That's us, God's people here on earth. God is not only the great creator, but he wants us to be part of his creation. And we are partners in creation in various ways, like the way we look out for one another, the way we help young folk to develop and flourish. When we cultivate our gardens or paint a picture or make a cake. In these four verses in Colossians, we are told twice that Jesus created all things. We are told also that Jesus is before all things and that he keeps all things ticking over. He sustains all things. So as we observe the seasons change, the moon waxing and waning, the daffodils dying and the tulips blooming, we can thank Jesus, our creator, but also contemplate our role as partners in his creation. Thank you.